to the podium, Mr. Jarek Robbins. You had a sports car and you entered yourself into a racing competition and you said, okay, great. You know, I'm going to go race against all these other sports cars out there in the world. Now, you're going to want to make sure you start with a full tank of gas. And do you put in like the low grade fuel or do you put in diesel if you have a gasoline engine? No way. You put high quality, high octane, the best gasoline you can get with the highest combustion rate that's going to cause your car to fly down that track. Now, why in the world would you go into every day and put junk in your tank of your physical body? Doesn't make sense. control the words you use the language you use uh, you can determine your filter of the world I mean we received a beautiful gift from a, a podcast host that we were on recently uh, he sent us a collection of all the James Allen writings and and one of them is as a man thinketh so shall he be he talks about at some point we realize our mind is like a garden and whatever seeds you plant are are the the you know, rewards or the trees that you sow. If you plant seeds of love and you plant seeds of um, forgiveness and honor and hope and understanding and all the good stuff, eventually those seeds develop into thoughts, feelings, actions, and experiences of life of those beautiful things. If you plant seeds of anger and frustration, um, eventually you're going to get the, you know, the, the fruits of those seeds. And, and so really, truly big thought Number one, what is the language you use to describe the loved ones around you? And does that language bring you closer to them or cause you to feel further, you know, further distance from them? Number two, uh, what seeds are you planting? I'm, I'm big on this concept right now of planting seeds. You know, we're seven years in our business and my experience is we have lots of, of rewards, lots of fruit from, from our business that we get to experience and in the grand scheme of things, we're seven years of seed planting right now. Like we should be out there planting seeds constantly. What does that mean? Giving more to others than you'd ever ask in return from them. Helping them when you get nothing back right now. Sharing with them, educating them, loving them, taking care of them in all ways, shapes, and forms so that eventually when they do grow to have the business that they really truly are working towards, when they finally hit that financial windfall, when they finally have the relationship of their dreams, when they finally get the body they deserve or whatever it is, in those moments, they come back and go, wow, you helped me get there. And because we planted that seed with them days, weeks, months, years prior, they come back to us looking for more when they are ready. So that's a, that's a big concept to consider of where in your life in relationships and in business do you need to be planting seeds? You know, do you need to be, instead of trying to sell the person right now, you need to be giving to the person right now and taking care of them and loving on them and, and, and giving to them so much so that it's going to develop into something beautiful and amazing long term down the road. every day and put junk in your tank of your physical body. Doesn't make sense.